Maple Leafs hosting the Jets. The Jets are plus 143 on the money line. The Maple Leafs are minus 170. The over-under is 6.5 goals. The Jets getting a goal and a half are minus 170 on the puck line, while the, uh, the Maple Leafs laying a goal and a half are plus 143 on the puck line. The Maple Leafs won the last game that they played. The Jets lost the last game that they played. Now, head-to-head, -to -head, Toronto is on a two-game winning streak against Winnipeg. The road team is 7-3 and three in their last 10 meetings. The favorite is 7-3 and three on the money line. The favorite winning these games by two goals or more on the puck line is 6-4. and four. There's only been one one-goal game in their last 10 meetings. The over is 6-4 and four in their last 10. Toronto is 6-4 and four in their last 10. And the over-under at 6.5 goals is 5-5. Five and five. The last game that they played, Toronto won 4-1 in Winnipeg. The game before that, Toronto won 7-3. The game before that, Winnipeg won 6-3. The game before that, Winnipeg won 4-2. Now, three out of the last four games they played against each other, the home team has won. So, there's food for thought right there. Now, the Jets are 28-17 against the spread. The under is 29-13 in the games in which they played in. And they are 12-9-1 on the road this year. The Maple Leafs are 18 and 27 against the spread. The under is 25 and 19 in the games in which they played in, and they are excellent at home. They are 16, 3, 3, and 1. Now, in their last handful of games, the Jets have had a combined five goals, three goals, five goals, and six goals. That's in their last four games. For the Maple Leafs, we've had nine goals, seven goals, five goals, and three goals. So, the Maple Leafs have been uh, giving up a bunch of more goals lately. I'm going to take Toronto with the money line. I'm going to take Toronto laying the goals. And I'm going to go under in this game. These are just my picks. If you disagree, please go with your gut and please bet responsibly.